For some time now, we've wanted to try casting resin into a wooden mold. We weren't really sure how to do it or what the end result would be, but in this video you can see how we did it and what the end result was. We started out by making the parts of a basic mold. The bottom is 8th inch hardboard and the two sides are made out of 3 quarter inch birch plywood. All of this was easily cut out on the bandsaw. The idea behind the mold was to make it where it could split in half later when we were ready to pull the cast item from the mold. I sprayed a generous coat of sealer on the inner rim of the two outside pieces and the bottom. We also coated the bottom and the sides with petroleum jelly, or Vaseline. We use this sometimes as a mold release agent and we thought it would aid in the process. We put it on a little bit thicker this time than we usually do to help prevent the resin from seeping through the mold or into the wood itself if the sealer shouldn't work as well as we wanted it to. Once it was coated to our liking, we went about pouring the resin as usual, mixing it, pouring it, and popping any air bubbles with a lighter while it was settling. After the first layer cured, we added another layer this time adding in a sheet of transparency paper that had the word welcome printed on it. The idea was that if the experiment worked out, we would use it as a welcome plaque near our front door. This just gets slid into place and positioned and smoothed while trying to prevent air bubbles. This layer cured for another 12 hours. Releasing it from the mold wasn't nearly as bad as we thought it might be, the residue from the petroleum jelly left some imprints on the back and the edges curled up a bit near the surface, but we decided that this could most likely be taken care of in the finishing process. When finishing it, I used a rotary tool to sand down the edges that were sharp and those that curled up a bit. I also used it to get into the curved spaces and refine them a bit as well. As far as the back, I went over it with some 220 grit sandpaper until it was nice and smooth. Then it was just a matter of brushing on some resin. I did this on the back and sides and then let it dry. I also did the same thing on the front to fill in the places where I may have went a bit too far with the rotary tool. Both times I tried to prevent as many air bubbles as possible. So as you can see it was a quite a bit of a different process. Um, the final product leaves a lot to be desired. There's a lot of pitting. Um, if you can see it in the reflection, it kind of bumps in the surface. The bubbles, um, if you can see those, are not too terribly bad. Um, that's my fault, Amy. I probably should have let Amy do most of the resin work with this and I should have just stuck to the mold making. Um, but all in all, just as an experiment, it did work out pretty well. We were happy that we were able to actually mold it in the wood with the aid of, of the Vaseline. Um, but like I said, it's a learn it was a learning experience and something we'll definitely have to incorporate in a future project as we learn how to do it better. But other than that, it was fun. We learned something and that's about all we can ask for. If you liked this video or if it was inspiring or useful in some way, um, please hit that thumbs up button or share it. It really does help us out. Also, if this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to us. We do fun do-it-yourself projects kind of like this one or woodworking or crafts every week. Until the next video, be safe and stay creative.